All right, everybody, welcome to another QB Breakdown. What's up? Coach Fish is in the house, like always. What's up, guys? Today we're not gonna wearing talk a about, hat this time. So. Yeah, this is, this is Coach Fish. Uh, just take away 10 years. Yeah. Well, we're going to break down Blake Barnett, right? Alabama University freshman yeah. quarterback. He was a five-star and also from kind of the, I guess, south, southern L.A. area, um, Corona Santiago is where he went to school and so um he has Cali, a very interesting California West Coast yeah West Coast exactly he's got a very interesting release uh, and we just kind of wanted to give you give some input on it and you know we love doing these videos yeah let's uh, let's start Get right up. into it yeah so the first thing I noticed with Blake is that he gets a really long um, he's got a really interesting long motion and he uses a lot of shoulder uh, he really gets that hand and reaches it all the way back and it's interesting because he doesn't necessarily get a ball stroke what i mean by ball stroke i talk a lot about ball stroke is getting that ball parallel to the ground before liftoff he just kind of reaches it and then kind of just palms it through and it's a lot of shoulder and not a lot of wrist action uh, what's interesting is that he gets it turned right around there with a really nice high extension and release so he's able to catch up. Um, it's kind of a Marino-esque throw. Marino was probably, Dan Marino was probably half of this length when it came to getting the ball out. But Marino was similar with just kind of how he brought it back and shot it out. Um, Blake has a little bit more of a, a longer um, a longer stroke. And um, it's interesting. There's not a lot of guys that I see throw like that. I'm not sure if that's a throw that's going to either give you more or less power when it comes down to um, you know, rotation through the zone. But what I do see is that when he does get through to the top of the throw, he's in a good spot. That's a good spot to be right there. That If we look back right there, that, that elbow and, and bicep where that meet, they meet, it's close to the ear. That's kind of where we want it. Those shoulders, you got a little bit more level on that right shoulder, uh, which is pretty normal and pretty, pretty legit. Um, he's square. His head's not moving. His body's lined up really, um, really nice. And you can see by the way he f rotates and flicks his hand that that uh, that ball spinning out nicely. Um, roll Tide, Blake. Roll Tide. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, and this was one of the reasons that I wanted to do it as well. Is I I, talk, I try to talk to quarterbacks a lot about trying to get that supination right. And I mean, we talked about it last time more pronation. Supination is now bringing that pinky through. Um, shoulder rotating inwards and you could see and what he has a very unique throw is that he starts to get that supination way earlier than what most guys do or his ball as he's coming um, across he's already starting to supinate here and it, it causes for um, like coach says it's a it's a unique release but I think that's where he builds a lot of power from um, and, and maybe he does put more on um, the shoulder, but it looks like to me just by the stopping of um, where the with the video here, you could see that his scapula is, is very far back, and so he's got a lot of mobility, um, a lot of range of motion in the shoulder, and it's still staying very posterior in the socket, which I think is always uh, well, it's it's a interesting thing, is what it is, um, and I think that's where he gets that that extra juice is being able to allow that scapula to get so far back. I think that's a very unique thing that, um, you know, Blake can do. I got a question do. <laughs> What's that? What is a scapula? <laughs> the scapula is the shoulder blade here in the back. Right in the center. Yeah, right in that area. Gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I like it. Um, and so being able to get that going is, uh, is definitely a unique thing. And, and Truthfully, Coach, I actually like it. I don't know if you, um, you know, if you don't like it or if you do like it, but I think that that helps him get a little bit more action in the arm. Um, I think that it is a very unique thing for him to, to do, um, and so I don't know if necessarily everybody should just start trying to do this early supination, but I think that it works for him and his release. Get the ball out of the hand as quickly as possible. Yeah. So now we got that back view. Yeah, and here's another uh, really cool view of just him using using that shoulder 
to really, uh, you know, get get the ball through. Um, you know, I, most of the time when you get to the back of the stroke, when you go back, um, at this point, you'd like to see his his backhand looking towards us as a viewer. Um, so he just isn't rotating the wrist. Um, and this is just a very interesting throw. I, but every guy's different. Every guy has a little bit different uh, 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 change to their game. I like his base. Um, you know, I think he could probably stay a little taller, you, you know, looking at legs. Um, you know, you, wanna, you don't want to sink into your throw. You want to try to be up a little taller. So I think that also could be a little more um, improved. Um, but it looks like he's really getting a lot of spin on the ball, and he's getting through the zone with a lot of rotation. So that's great. His balance is fantastic. Yeah, overall, he's good. There's yeah, no that's, there's, that's a you can see a lot right there. Yeah, you can see why he's got a lot of power behind the ball. And I think in order for him to get a little bit quicker on his release, it would be to get that ball to start coming through faster and get that the transition to start happening at a quicker rate. So he's down. He gets that leg right down into the ground rather than just kind of sitting back on it and then transitions forward and gets that ball rotated all the way through. What we want to see is by that point, that ball should already be facing straight ahead. He still has one more frame until he does, so it's all the way out in front, which when, again, he was so far ahead in this position, there's guys that aren't even close to having that ball that far rotated. And from this angle, you could really see how his scapula here is so far back um, but now instead of just keeping the ball there, let's transition through and get that. And you can see that how those kind of happen synchronously as he starts transitioning, pushing out that back leg. That's the same time as when he starts to get that ball back spinning around again. I think he could probably even get a little more power if he was able to get a little more wrist and, and shoulder turn at that point. So right here, you want to get that ball east and west, have that ball on the top of the shelf this way to turn it up here this way. He's getting here and carrying it and then gets turned at the last moment. Yeah. Um, and I guess to kind of close it out, another thing too is um, he opens up, I think he opens up that front hip a little bit too early here as he's transitioning forward. I think he can get a little bit more of kind of that straightaway shift um, forward, more of that kind of, you know, working in the uh, frontal plane, you know, being able to transition um, straight forward with that hip instead of beginning that rotation so early. Um, and that, I think it also help out with that power, but those little small uh, parts of the throw that could end up being very, very important uh, when it comes to, you know, SEC football or, you know, NFL football. So we'll see. I mean, we're rooting for you. Um, yeah, man. Yeah. Roll tight. Yeah, it's always a uh, it's always a pleasure doing this stuff. I think we both figured out more about um, different people's throws, how they can be successful, and so. Um, yeah. Go Blake. Yep. Go Blake. See you, man. Side. <laughs>
And that'll activate the opposite side glute med as well as the same side QL. So really for that side, um, doing it with the right side up against it would be the best for them. But I think getting both sides would be uh, beneficial. So thanks for watching the video.